Six brain science discoveries that will revolutionize your assertiveness. How many times this week have you heard yourself say yes out loud while your body was screaming no? You know that feeling the knot in your stomach, the heat rising in your face? You agree to the extra project, the event you dread, the favor you just don't have time for? Then comes the wave of resentment, aimed not just at the other person, but at yourself. This internal battle isn't a character flaw. It's a neurological glitch hold, wiring in your brain working against you. Day. We're going to rewire it. This gap between what you want and what you do is one of the most common struggles out there. It costs you self-esteem, career opportunities, and your most valuable resources. Time and energy. For decades, the advice was just to be more confident. That's like trying to fix a buggy app by smashing the keyboard. It doesn't get to the root of the problem. The real revolution is happening in neuroscience. Scientists are mapping the brain circuits that control social fear and confidence. In this video, I'll share six brain science discoveries that will completely change how you see assertiveness. This isn't about changing who you are. It's about understanding your brain so you can work with it. By the end, you'll have a neurological toolkit to reclaim your voice, set boundaries, and communicate with authentic confidence. Discovery 1. Calming your primal threat detector. Our first discovery takes us to the amygdala your brain's 24 7 security alarm. Its job is to scan for threats a speeding car, or in our world, a boss's frown. When your amygdala senses a threat, it triggers the fight, flight, or freeze response. The problem is it can't tell the difference between a real danger and the fear of social disapproval. So when you're asked to do something you don't want to, your amygdala can scream danger. Social rejection. In this state of high alert, being assertive is nearly impossible. An overactive amygdala pushes you to two extremes, passivity and aggression. True assertiveness requires a calm amygdala. So how do we quiet this alarm? With a technique neuroscientists call effect labeling. The moment you feel that anxiety, you simply name it. Say to yourself, this is anxiety. My threat system is on. Brain imaging studies show that putting feelings into words dampens the amygdala's response and activates your rational prefrontal cortex. You're literally shifting power from the emotional brain to the thoughtful brain. Your takeaway. Next time you feel pressured, pause. Take a deep breath and label the feeling. I'm feeling pressured. By acknowledging the alarm, you take away its power, creating a space for your rational mind to choose the right response. Discovery two, the social courage of oxytocin 